not adjust your screen. You are now about to enter the world of the Knights of War. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours truly, Anthony of the Knights of Horror. But today's video, we are talking Awaken the Spirits. We are talking panels. They announced their panel list this week, and we're going to be covering every panel that's going to be at the convention. So let's get started with Saturday, August 14th at 12.30pm, Dead Talks, 13th Ghost 20th Anniversary panel. And the description at follows, members of the production team reunite to discuss their involvement in the 2001 horror film producer Eric Olson, composer John Frizzle, and special effects makeup designers Howard Berger and Norman Cabrera will be hosted by Cody Chavez, Nostalgic Nebula. Uh, so they're going to be doing a, uh, obviously a reunion for some of the, the, the producers and, and the cast, or not the cast, but uh, people that were behind the scenes and stuff. 20 years, man. That film's a cult classic as of right now, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun. At 12.30 p.m. as well, HHN Design and Collaboration, the Art Department Process. Uh, and that one so goes as follows. Join members from the Halloween Horror Nights Art Department as they d dive deep into the important role the team has in creating the terrifying mazes at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights, presented by TEA at USC. Should be a fun time. Very excited for that. It's going to be cool. I, I have to check that one out. I'm a huge Halloween Horror Nights fan, so should be fun. 2 p.m., Winchester Mystery House will be there uh, displaying what they're going to be bringing this haunt season and the description goes as follows. Learn new secrets from the allegedly most haunted house in the world which invites you to explore over 160 rooms through flashlight tours, a brand new Houdini escape room, and more for chilling thrills any time of the year. Should be a fun uh, fun time, Winchester Mystery House. LA Haunter, Hayride, and Delusion will be there Saturday, August 14th at 3.30 p.m. Go behind the scenes of 13 Floors Entertainment, two major Los Angeles events, The Haunted Hayride and Delusion. Super excited, hopefully we'll get some announcements from them, obviously becoming a little bit closer to haunt season. When we go to that convention, very excited to see what they have to bring to the table, and I'm super stoked that they are doing something this year. This is the big one for Saturday. A lot of people are excited. Not much of a description though. They just say main stage, but we can expect probably an announcement from John Murdy himself. Halloween Horror Nights will be over at the main stage Saturday, August 14th at 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. One hour presentation. Usually Murdy will uh, announce something and give us a little bit of details and then show us some behind the scenes of some stuff. Uh, it's always a great time to get a behind the scenes look at this year's Halloween Horror Nights. So I'm excited Halloween Horror Nights is coming and doing something this year. Makes my heart warm. Makes me feel like we're at Midsummer Scream again. I'm really stoked for that. And let's go to the Twirly Talk Show with Barry. This one's going to be interesting. So we're going to have uh, Twirly the Clown and Barry as they uh, ask the industry's most esteemed and the most thought-provoking questions. What can go wrong with the undead zombie clown and a puppet talk show? Special guest Imagineer Bob Gurr. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what they have to say with that one. And to end Saturday, Home Haunt Preview 2021. This is the first part because the second part's gonna be on Sunday, the very last panel. But we get to see what a lot of our favorite home haunts and whatnot are doing this year. Obviously with 2020, these home haunts saved our asses for Halloween and gave us something to enjoy and, and look at and do between yard displays, um, shows, uh, some walkthrough attractions the home haunt community really stepped up this year and we owe it to them to for saving halloween they were a really big part of saving halloween and we are so glad that we got to actually have a haunt season last year because of them so we'll be checking that out as well to see what a lot of our favorite home haunters and some new home haunters we can go check out will be doing this year super excited let's take a look at what's going on sunday we have rotten apple 907 30 years of home haunt excellence kicking it off sunday at 12 p.m very much looking forward to that Join the team behind one of Southern California's most epic home haunts as they share photos, amazing stories, and a glimpse of what's coming this Halloween to this beloved Burbank haunt. Should be a fun time. Rotten Apple has a, a big name in the home haunt world, so I'm excited to see what they're bringing to the table this year. One of the panels I'm looking forward to the most this weekend, though, is a visit to Resident Evil Village. For those of you who know, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, um, and this is going to be a lot of fun seeing behind the scenes with some of the actual voice actresses and actors who, who brought this game to life. So I'm super excited for this. Um, it says, meet the cast behind Resident Evil Village and find out how they use their acting talents to create the most terrifying horror video game of 2021. We have um, Becca Pruitt, who plays uh, Bella D, one of the 
sisters, uh, daughters of Lady D. Uh, Andy Norris playing, uh, who plays Donna Beneviento. She was the uh, motion capture for the little puppet um, and the the uh, woman in black. That was one. That was one of the cool villains too. And Katie O'Hagan, voice of Mia Winters. Mia Winters, if you're watching, I got some questions for you. <laughs> it's been a whole journey from Resident Evil 7 to Resident Evil 8 with Mia Winters. And we got, uh, we got some questions for Mia Winters. But no, nonetheless, uh, this cast is phenomenal. They helped bring this game to life, and I couldn't be more thankful for that. I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. Play all the remasters. Anything that involves DLCs like Dead by Daylight. Um, and all the games they release, uh, I'm playing them within days' time uh, and getting them beat. Uh, this is going to be moderated by Creepy Kingdom's James H. Carter II. So I'm excited to see what they have to bring to this. I'm excited to see their stories. And, and yeah, I mean, Mia Winters, obviously, and some of these villains, it was just a terrifying game nonetheless. And to see this uh, panel, it's going to be cool. I've never actually seen a panel with video game voice actresses and actors. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I, I think this is going to be the panel that I'm going to be really excited for this year. Immediately following that at 1.30 p.m., the Twirly Talkie Show with Barry, and he is back again for day two, and he is doing the same thing, but probably with different people. Uh, the special guests are yet to be announced yet, but um, we will keep you updated when that happens. Immediately following that, Six Flags Magic Mountain Fright Fest is coming to awaken the spirits to share what they are doing this haunt season. I'm glad Fright Fest is coming back. I know a few people that actually work at Fright Fest, so uh, congrats on them for getting to return to what they do best. And um, I am excited to see uh, Fright Fest. This will be our first year going, at least my first year going this year. I know Rob is a huge fan of Fright Fest, so he's been in the past. So he'll be like our Fright Fest expert in a way to get us ready for the event. Um, but they're going to be doing their panel. And the synopsis is as shown. Find out what Six Flags Magic Mountain Fright Fest has in store for guests looking for Halloween thrills up in Valencia. I'm super excited for Six Flags. I can't wait to go see Fright Fest this year. And then we got uh, the next panel, Plagues, COVID, and Their Impact on Horror. This is a really uh, interesting one for all you writers and authors out there. A lot of uh, like authors and writers are going to be coming on the stage, and they're going to be talking about how COVID and plagues uh, impacted writing for horror. Um, obviously, with the pandemic, uh, a lot of these authors and writers found inspiration to make new horror stories based around uh, pandemics and plagues. So it's going to be interesting to see what their thoughts are and, and how they approached the pandemic and, and what ideas gave them to write new uh, stories for the horror community. So I'm super excited to see what they have in store for us. This, uh, this panel is going to, should be a good one. Uh, one that we're, another one we're very excited for is Turning Nightmares into Reality with the Masterminds of Dark Harbor. Uh, you're going to see the behind the scenes of how they create some of the most intense things at Dark Harbor. I'm super excited for this. Uh, it should be a fun panel. And uh, I, I honestly look forward to seeing what they have to bring to the table. Um, obviously, we've been really incorporated with a lot of the Dark Harbor characters and, and Slider team lately. So this is a no-brainer. We're going to go support this one no matter what. <laughs> and then to end Sunday, we are going to look at Sunday Home Haunts previews for 2021. The second half of the Home Haunt previews. There's so many amazing Home Haunts in Southern California that they couldn't just do one panel. They have to do two because you have to get all that amazing talent out there. So, yeah, Sunday, uh, we're having a home haunt preview to see more of what's to come, other things we can check out other than the major haunts because I'm always looking for new things to check out. Cannot wait, it's gonna be a solid weekend. With all that being said, I hope you guys can organize your agenda for Awaken the Spirits a lot better now that you got a little explanation of what's coming and whatnot. But, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot to us, uh, we, uh, like I said, we love promoting Midsummer Scream and Awaken the Spirits as much as we can. I'm already going to be starting to write an agenda for us this weekend so we can check out these panels, work closely with Sammy to see what he wants to see as well. Uh, with all that being said, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at the Knights of Horror and at Knights of Horror to be aware of what we're doing every time, especially when Awaken the Spirits comes around. We'll be posting on our story left and right. Uh, August 16th, that Monday after the uh, Awaken the Spirits, that's when we're going to start uploading all of our content uh, to YouTube, whether it be all the panels, um, you know, the show floor, vlogs, what, whatever it may be, we're going to be uploading all of our content starting Monday, August 16th, 2021. If you guys are new to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification to be aware every time we put up a new video. 
With all that being said, we love each and every one of you. We'll see you at Awaken the Spirits and here on the channel in the next few weeks. I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror. Hope you guys had a good one.